What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films. Welcome back. I have a new system, the AMD Ryzen Threadripper. I bought it a week before Black Friday because it went on sale. I've been wanting to upgrade my computer for a long time, so I finally did it. Here's my specs. GeForce 1080 Ti with Ryzen Threadripper, 32 gigs of RAM. I will increase that later on. But today what I'm gonna do is just show you how this setup will perform in DaVinci Resolve with different resolutions. I went to red.com, which I'm gonna show you right now, all the footage that I grabbed. So you can grab them yourself as well to test out your workflow. So the first one we're gonna look at is this footage right here, the Weapon 8K Vista Vision. 8K full frame, 8192 by 4320, red code 10, to one which is a lot of compression so let's go ahead and load that in DaVinci Resolve and see how this computer um, will perform when playing this footage so I have it loaded here and we're gonna take a look at our setting a 4320 we're gonna have it go to edit already dragged and drop it there we're gonna drag and drop in our timeline now press rewind and we're gonna press play So, wow, there you go. It's playing at 24 frames per second, guys. This is 8K full frame. I know it's 10 to one compression, so that is for you guys that are crazy with compressions, that's still quite a lot of compression. That's crazy. Let's go to full screen and there it is, 8K Vista Vision from Red. So the next footage we're gonna take a look at I'm gonna go back to my media pool, delete that for now. We're gonna go to this one, it's a night scene. Uh, let's find that in their page. It's right here, it's shot with Epic Weapon, 8K, Super 35. Uh, this is seven to one compression, still the same resolution, 8K. Let's see how the DaVinci Resolve will handle this footage with my computer, drag and drop that here. So this is 8K, press play. Right, and then it goes to 24 frames per second. So it is struggling a little bit because it is seven to one compression. Has a little bit less compression than the previous footage we played, but hmm, then there it is. See, and that's crazy because people think, oh man, you got the new Ryzen Threadripper, that's such an overkill. But if you're trying to feature proof your computer and you know you don't want to buy it every year, you definitely want to get the best of the best because right now, it looks like th this setup is struggling with this footage and it's only seven to one compression. Okay, so let's go to color tab. Let's just take a look. Press play here. Yeah, 14, 19, 16, 17. So it's not playing real time on a thread ripper with a GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. That is crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna test this out later on with um, Adobe Premiere and After Effects as well, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and go down this list. The next footage I have is a 6K, I believe. Let's go to media. Yeah, this is a 6K, so I'm gonna change my timeline to 6144 to 3160. 6144 to 3160, save. Let's go ahead and go to the edit page, drag and drop that here. Let's go to the red page just to show you what the settings they have. Okay, here it is. It's shot with the Epic Dragon 6K full frame, 2398, 5.1 compression. So this is less compressed with the uh, highlight OLPF, uh, the skin tone highlight. So let's go ahead here, press play. Wow, okay. So 6K, no problems at all. It looks like it plays it just fine. Let's go to the color tab. Nice, 26 frames per second, 24. So 8K had problems, 6K to, 6K doesn't look like it's having any, any issues whatsoever. Um, I don't have any nodes just yet. If you guys want me to make a video about that too, I can add nodes, but this is just a really quick, real quick tutorial, not tutorial, a real quick video on how this computer handles high resolution footage. So the next one we'll take a look at is a 5K, which I did shoot with the red Scarlet MX. It shot 5120, 2700. So let's go ahead and change that. 51, 
20 by 2700. Press save, and this is just a little time lapse I shot in Frankfurt. Let's go ahead and remove that. Let's see how this handles this footage. Press play, and yeah, 5K. I mean, 5K, this computer just destroys it for real. Okay, so 6K, 5K looks pretty good with no nodes. That looks like real time, time lapse. That's, oh, that's so exciting. That's great. All right, so the last one I'm going to do is this footage from Red again. I'm going to show you where I got this from. This is an Epic Dragon 4K HD at 120 frames per second, compressed at 11 to 1 ratio. So this is pretty heavily compressed here. But then again, Red cameras are still good at heavy compressions. Like 10 to 1 is still really good. So let's go ahead and do this. Change our settings to uh, Ultra HD, which this footage was shot in. Edit page. Drag and drop, so this is 4K, 2160p, control F, press play, and this is slow-mo, 120 frames per second. Yeah, no problems, full time, I mean real time, real nice. So yeah, this is shot at 120 frames per second, and it's in the 24 frames per second timeline, so that's gonna slow, that's gonna slow it down a lot. And that's constant 24 frames per second right here, as you can see. So no problems. So, so far we learned that the Threadripper GTX 1080 Ti can play 8K Vista Vision at a really high compress rate, compression rate of, uh, let's see, what was that again? At 10.1 it can play just fine, but when we went down to, uh, you know, a lower compression settings, it had a little bit of problems with this footage here. So yeah. That's all, like this one right here. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot more about this setup and maybe do some video games as well because that's really a good way to benchmark it with video games is just to show you guys how it plays. And I'm gonna be doing an After Effects and Premiere with this same exact test. I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching.